Hey guys, I'm Dib, and today we're going to work on creating a simple calculator. So this is part one of probably three or so. Um, so follow along. So go ahead and create a new project, and I called mine Simple Calculator. But you can call yours whatever, but just make a new one. And go into the activity main file, and let's make a few changes. Let's change the relative layout to be linear layout. And you'll notice you'll need to remove these two um, elements here. And with linear layout, you have to tell it the orientation. And it's going to be vertical. Okay. And let's change this text string to say total is zero. Okay. Let's take a quick peek. And sure enough, it does what we said. But let's make this total be larger and centered. Okay. So to do that, we're going to do Android text size equals, say, 30 dp. And dp is density pixels, and that is basically a relative size, which means if you have a larger screen, then the text is going to actually appear to be larger on your screen. If you have a smaller screen, it'll be smaller. And that's different from pixel, okay? Because like if we told it 30 pixels, then no matter what size screen you had, it would be 30 pixels. Um, so if you had a large screen, it would appear to be smaller, uh, actually. Um, so, and then let's make it centered here. That's Android. And it's something called gravity. And let's select center right here. And our bracket got taken off, so, so don't forget to put your bracket on. Let's take a quick look. The total is zero. It didn't center it though. Okay, why is that? Well, there's actually two. Um, well, you come back over here and notice here this is um, selected as wrap content. And so we have to come over here and say layout gravity is centered. So that will center it there. If we had um, match parent for the width, then we could do, use this regular gravity. But um, so let's keep on going with this, and let's add two more. Let's add two buttons for uh, plus one and minus one. Buttons are very similar to text views, so I'm going to be lazy and copy this text view here. Okay, if you look at this, obviously it'll say that twice, but we're going to change the second one to button by magically typing in the word button here. And we're going to change this. Well, okay, if you look at it now, now it's, now it's a button. Okay. But we're going to change this text view to say plus one over here. And we're going to copy this button, make another one that says minus one. So if you look at it now, boom. Plus one, minus one, total is. Now, if you click on them now, well, because we're in the screen, it's not going to do anything. But um, we're going to show you how to make that work here shortly. So if you come over here, well, first off, okay, let's make the buttons the same size. Now, the reason that the plus button is smaller than the minus one is simply because the width is a... Um, wrap content and that makes it be the same size as whatever the object is that your your text or button is so instead of saying wrap content for your button make it be like 200 dp and let's change the other button to be 200 dp as well and so now you'll notice the buttons are the same size even though the text of the buttons are different sizes um, so of course that makes sense. So now 
the last thing we have to do is we have to assign a Android ID to the text views and buttons so that when we use our Java code later to um, click on the buttons and to actually add and subtract that it will know what to do. So to create a new ID, come over here and say Android and then you say ID equals and to create a new one you say at plus ID okay and then you tell it the ID name so this is like a variable name and because it's a text view I'm gonna call it TV and total down here for our button we're gonna create a new ID for it too ID equals at plus slash and this is a button so I'll, I'll call it B plus down here I'll call this one uh, ID equals and I'll call this one B minus okay now these variable names could be anything you know you don't have to have the B in front of it but just for me to reference later it helps if I know that the button the buttons start with B the text views have TV in them but it doesn't really matter to the computer you could call it anything okay I've got an error here and that's because somehow I took off my um, closing bracket and I took it off of here too I must have uh, clicked on something crazy and here too wow I really messed up okay um, so now they look like this and the reason that, um, these are warnings here okay and Eclipse doesn't like you to actually have like hard-coded text into your your um, text elements it wants to you know, actually have a string variable but I don't care at this point um, because I'm just kind of doing a quickie and it, and, and this will still work it just gives you a little error there but but don't worry about that so here we have total plus one minus one and check it out here in a minute we'll make these buttons work thanks have a great day